uh, leaving the ring in the moon to come to this. And I've definitely been meaning to do this. You know, songs that have meanings in them. Songs that have meanings in them, huh? This song, I always, as a kid, I liked the beat of it. I got into it. All kinds of stuff. Of course, it's from a woman. Uh, what's her name? I got a blurry damn shot. <laughs> but, uh, Laura... Brandon, ah, damn it. But the song, Gloria, Gloria, I think they got your number, Gloria. Yeah, that song. If you know that song from the 80s. <clears throat> it wasn't until about a couple months ago this song came on the radio. I was talking to my wife. What the frig is really going on with this song? Now, if anybody don't know this song, I advise you to listen to it. I don't know what the hell this woman was thinking when she wrote it. Don't get me wrong. I like the song. I like the lyrics. But when I was a kid and was wondering and sitting there saying, what the hell is she singing? It wasn't up till right. I got older and started to take in the song that there was a message in it. Now, I don't know if it was um, because of her or a friend or a family member, whatever the case may be. Whoever Gloria was, maybe a secret identity she kept to herself as herself. I mean, not to herself, but a secret identity uh, as herself. So, you know, but you know how they used to do back in the day to... Well, you know, I got this friend that uh, has this, you know, uh, has this, and he was wondering why this does that, you know, it's that type of deal. And people were always, always, you know, a huge thing about doing stuff like that and saying stuff like that. So it wouldn't surprise me if this song was about her, Laura, but she uses Gloria and some other woman in pretext or whatever context or whatever you call it, to send out a message to somebody. Because if you read the lyrics in this freaking song, man, holy crap. The voices in your head. Um, I'm about to wonder if I can get them up. Bear with me. Lyrics for Fuck, I screwed up that last name. Oh, there it is. Now, of course, I can't play the damn song because I'll get copyrighted. Oh, come on. Genuine lyrics. Right here. Great. Let me get these up. Now, of course, this is like a 1982 hit. Remember, it is like it was yesterday. Intro, verse one. Oh, man, I... I like I said, I don't know what the hell this woman was thinking, but it always went in the back of my head. And now that I've gotten a chance to talk about it, here's the lyrics. In Gloria, you're always on the run now, running after somebody. You gotta get him somehow. I think you've got to slow down before you start to blow it. I think you're headed for a breakdown, so be careful not to show it. You really don't remember what is something that he said. Are the voices in your head calling, Gloria? Now right there catches my attention, the voices in your head. You're chasing after somebody. Did this woman have a nervous breakdown? Or is she writing about someone that had a nervous breakdown? Or, you know, in that tense, right? 
it wasn't her and she just covered it up with somebody she's singing about. But Gloria, don't you think you're falling? If everybody wants you, why isn't anybody calling? You don't have an answer. Leave them hanging on the line. Oh, oh, calling Gloria. Now whether in this another maybe this could be one of them nar narcissists. Narcissists, Narcissus songs. People all about themselves, right? Um, maybe that's what it is. It's not of them getting the hang of the lyrics. But as it goes on, it says, you know, here we are, Glory. I think they got your number. I think they got your alias that you've been living under. So why does this woman need an alias? Why is she chasing a man down? Why are the voices calling in her head? This is like a psychotic episode, I tell you. But you really don't remember. Was it something that they said? How the voices calling in your head, Gloria, right? So, what? Wow. I don't know if this, like, maybe was... Fin um... Meant for someone that, you know, either came up missing, got murdered. I never really looked into this song yet. But just listening to these lyrics and understanding them now from when I was a kid. I mean, the, the things that I remember in the kid that I took them was the voices in, in my head. Yeah, those are my voices in my head. <laughs> right? And, you know, but the number you're calling on the phone and no one's there. And But, Gloria, how's it going to go down? Will you meet him on the main line or will you catch him on the rebound? Will you marry for the money? Take a lover in the afternoon? Feel your innocence slip away? Don't believe it's coming back soon. And you really don't remember. So there we go, thinking it's... Wow. Is she cheating now? Or is this just a big water friggin' insanity? But I and you really don't remember it was something that he said. Now the voices in your head calling Gloria, Gloria. I think they got your number. I think they got your alias. Your alias. See, this is friggin'. Back in the day, too, if you remember movies like with John... Uh, Walter Matthau. I remember watching a movie from him in the 60s. Guy would be up cheating on his wife. And he'd bring his briefcase. Now in the briefcase, you think he's going on a traveling trip with papers. Go Maybe go to a, a client. Go over some documents. Some realty. But in the suitcase, he's got a whole brand fresh, brand new, clean pair of clothing. Got a little, little aftershave, a little razor. Cheated on his wife. Back in the days, man, crazy shit like this happened and led to deceitful, crazy insanity of murder, missing people. So I don't know if this, I mean, like I say, it's, it starts out like this woman's insane, listening to shit in her head, but it ends up looking like she's cheating. And will she get caught? Because, you know, or she don't have no friends because everybody knows what she is. But there's going to be so many different things in this song. Her alias, they got their number. Um, but they, you really don't remember. She get knocked unconscious and, you know, get a loss of memory or something. But, man. I mean, like I said, I never looked into this song to wonder why or even looked up why she wrote these lyrics. But um, it always sunk in the back of my head. Brannigan. You know, there it is. Laura Brannigan. Italian original by Tossi. What is that? A cover of the Italian original by Umbretto Tossi. Hmm. I never knew that either. 
I know, well, obviously she covered of it. And made a big, huge hit off her own hit. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm in the metal. But I'm also into other stuff, too. I like to, I like to mellow out. Get some, you know, classy music in there or something. But it ain't just that, either. It's It's got to do with the simple fact that when stuff like this is written, I take notice right away. And ever since I was a kid, like I said, this is stuff I used to do when I was a kid. Packing it, cramming it in my brain. Thinking, me, I should remember this or talk about this. or, And here I am. I mean, for some reason, something told me to barrel in all this information. But and stuff like this always settled back in the head and wonder, what the fuck are they writing? There's a lot of songs out there, I'll tell you, boy, that have a lot of meaning and, and hitting secrets. And that's why I say music of today, some of it is all fucking garbage. Back then, these damn things, these songs told tales. Like Johnny Cash and um, you know, Kenny Rogers. I like that stuff too, man. Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn. A lot of stuff, all the blues players. You know, B.B. King, Chuck Berry told a story in their music, brought it forth. And I mean, it goes on into metal, into Black Sabbath, into, you know, Judas Priest. It, the, the list goes on and on. Foreigner, all kinds of stories in their music. But also on the lighter side, stuff like this. Her heart, hell, Joan Jett. I gotta do a video on her, man, cause re she's coming up on tour this year. I might not be able to see it, but I'm trying to get a contest winning on it. I'd love to see her, man. I always looked up to that woman as a huge big sister figure, just because she was a rowdy, short little, oh man, voice cracking, punch you in the face type woman. And when she used to, when she sings. I mean, not used to, but when she sings, man, it's like a throat punch, poof. And she, like, lays it down on the table, and I come to find out I didn't know that she was denied by every goddamn rep record label out there. Went on to make her own. They all said her music wouldn't make it. Well, pfft, right here, people. She's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because of her... You know, keeping it real. She also was in the Runaways. Too bad pe women like this couldn't keep on going, you know. She may, I mean, that was a good music. But to find out it's a cover and not her own, it's like, meh. But hey, you gotta, you gotta give people some credit, though. The woman could sing. You know, that's what I look at women all in the music industry, man. They're like big sisters to me because I never had none. And that way, I, when I would listen to this type of music, that's what I'd think of as that, you know? But when I heard these, like I said, these lyrics, though, man, <laughs> it, it could be multiple things, you know, a cheating person. It could be, you know, uh, an insane person. I mean, I got to go over a lot of more of this stuff, too, man, because there's a lot of songs out there to take in. A lot of meaning. And I want to prove to people these days that some of your music needs to go down the toilet, man. Because you just slap together records, slap together stupid one-verse music songs. Man, You people need to step up and stop friggin' learning how to write music and lyrics the right way. In a tale of a story. Not just some stupid, oh, I, I, I eat peaches, peaches come from trees. Yeah, we already get that, moron. Or, well, you know, there's other songs. I got a whole list, and I, I just found that not too long ago, and I misplaced it again. But I got a whole list of bands. I want to just get out on the table and say, you know what, give it up. And some of them have, but one of them, I forget the name of the band, and it pisses me off because I remember they got on the rate and they got on an interview, and they said all we wanted to do was get women and make money. And they made their money, and they were not making no more money. They build up. 
You know, they broke a million copies or whatever, making millions. That was it. They quit. That That's the music industry, some of it today, man. They don't put their heart and soul in enough. And when I watch the, um, the Grammys, oh, my God. I don't know where the world's coming to, but, yeah, you don't get music like this no more. So, anyways... Check out the song. I recommend it. It's a, I like it. It's an updated 80s beat. I was raised in the 80s. I was raised in the 70s. And, you know, I'm just more than a metal head sometimes. I gotta... Sometimes I gotta rest my neck. You know? Gotta, you gotta sit back and relax. Can't be banging my head, screaming my vocals out all the time. <laughs> I need some relaxing music. Come on, man. But until that next video, check this song out. Tell me what you think of it. Check out them lyrics one more time. And let me know what you think, man. And I gotta go over some more of this stuff. Music that has hidden cryptic messages. Until the next video, be safe, take care, out.